yeah, I think workout videos are bum, um, a bum, haha. <laughs> bum. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. We are going to try to kick off a kick-ass workout. I say kick a lot. I am basically going to be bringing you guys a cable focus glute workout. I love working out my glutes. It's probably my favorite thing to do like at the gym, hands down. If you guys like this video, please go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and thumbs up the video and leave me a big, big comment about whatever you loved about the video. So jumping right into this workout, we are going to be starting with some warm up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, sometimes I'm just tired and I just wanna get the workout done. So I would jump right into activation and stretching. When I'm on the treadmill, I like to incline the treadmill to uh, 10.5 incline and then I like to go at a speed of 3.0. So I actually went ahead and I put a band around my um, knee. What I try to do is I do it like one minute with my feet wide apart. What that is doing is putting tension on the outer parts of my glutes and activating those muscles on the outer part of my glutes. But it's really important for you guys to know the kind of muscles that work with the glutes because then it's going to help you to know how to actually effectively build up the glutes so that you're not just building your glutes forward, you're building kind of like that. You know that bubble butt, bubble 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 butt. We are going to be walking on the treadmill for five minutes, and then I will go ahead and do some side steps um, to the right and then to the left. And I do this for about 30 seconds on one side, and then I do some side shuffles to the left. And this again is just to help to activate again those accessory glute muscles. And then I go ahead and I turn my back to the treadmill this is really really good if you do this the right way you're gonna feel it in your gluteus maximus and again guys if you are a beginner please just go ahead and just walk on the treadmill so once you feel warmed up and ready to go you can go ahead and turn off your treadmill and we're gonna head on to stretches and activation the reason I do some specific stretches on glute day is again to try to start activating my glute muscles. I try to start with stretching first just because I just like to be stretched out before I go into activation, but do whatever you feel comfortable with. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is leg swing. I do it forward and then I swing my legs backwards. I swing it to the side. Then I'm going to be doing some lunges and these are big lunges. These are just to be able to feel your entire leg being stretched out. I can feel this in my hamstrings. I do some lying down leg fold. This is where we basically like put your leg underneath one and just like lean forward so that you can really feel it in your butt and your hamstrings again and then I do some lunge with my arms going up to the sky okay guys so that is all the stretch I do really and then I'm gonna go ahead to activation so the first thing I do for my activation is I go ahead and I do some banded squats. These are just standard guys. If you are going to be doing a glute workout, you're going to be doing squats at one point or the other. Then we're going to do some monster walks. I really like this. And what I want you guys to remember is that if you can try your best, our toes like to be pointed outwards. I'm going to try, I'm going to tell you guys to kind of bring it a little bit more inwards. And this is again going to activate the side muscles of your glutes. And this is going to really, really be helpful for that activity activation of your overall glute muscles. And then we're going to be doing some banded jumping squats, which is basically where you're in a squat position and you are going to be jumping in and out. And this again helps to activate your body as well as your glute muscles. This targets specifically your quads, your gluteus maximus, and then of course your medius and your minimus. And then we're going to go ahead and do some banded hip bridges. I don't know if you guys have heard, but hip bridges is the main key to building your glutes. This targets specifically your gluteus maximus, which is the biggest muscle in your butt. So obviously, if you want to grow your butt, you have to be doing some hip bridges. It activates most glute muscles when you do hip bridges. The last exercise we're going to be doing to really target that, um, that gluteus minimus, which is the side of our butt, is clamshells. I love these, but guys, they kill me. I can probably do like 10 of these before I get tired. And then we're going to jump right into the workout, guys. 
The way I structure my workouts at the gym is I like to do two exercises, one right after the other, and then I'll take a rest. This is called a superset. I feel like this is the best way to target the same muscle. So today we have four supersets and we are going to start with some cable squats now it all depends on you guys but you can do these with a band if you have it or without a band if i feel like the muscle i'm trying to target is really working i will go ahead and take off the band and just do it by itself but if i feel like i need a little bit more extra help or tension i'll go ahead and add the band in there moving on to some pulsing squats to curtsy lunges and i'm not coming up all the way you can see that my knees are um, in a neutral position and I am just kind of coming up and going down without releasing that tension off of my glutes we're going to be doing eight of these per side oh my goodness these are killer superset we have is some deadlifts I love deadlifts because again they are targeting our hamstrings and our glutes so we're gonna go ahead and do 12 repetitions of a deadlift you guys can see me here the only thing that should be moving here is your hips your hips are going backwards and forwards you want to keep your back neutral we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do single leg deadlifts we're gonna be doing eight per side again remember that your hips are the only things that should be moving backwards and forwards I'm not saying my form is perfect but this is the kind of things that you need to keep in mind so that you are doing the exercise as best as you can if you guys are not doing this well you're not going to be getting the effect that you need from these exercises so I rather you do less reps but let those reps be your best form so anyways guys we are going to be going ahead and doing two more repetitions of that exercise and we're gonna be moving on to the next superset we're gonna be doing some cable pull throughs this is the same idea as a deadlift your back is neutral your hips are the only things that are moving forward and backwards you are pulling that weight from in between your legs and hinging at the top and squeezing that butt you want that ugly butt look if you don't have that ugly butt look you have not been doing the exercises right girl after that we are going to be grabbing some um i can't remember what they're called and we are going to be doing some hip thrusts i don't know if there is any way i can do a glute workout without doing hip thrusts because i mean they're just they're just perfect the key i have with this is that you're looking forward look forward and this is going to help you to remember to thrust your hips as high as you can this is so awkward at the gym but don't look at anybody there's no point in looking at anybody we're here focused on you so make sure you're thrusting your hips as high as you can and feeling that squeeze in your butt make sure that your form is steady i want you guys to do only eight of these these are going to hurt these are definitely going to hurt but that is what we're here for we're going to be doing eight on each leg and we're going to be moving on to the next exercise the last set we're going to be doing is called a tri set three exercises back to back and then we're going to be resting basically this is like the stuff you'd see instagram models doing at the gym it works but it's not as effective as the other ones we did but we're still gonna add it in here if you have done the other three your butt should be killing you by now and the first thing we're going to be doing is some cable kickbacks and we're going to be kicking our leg back if we're doing it on the right leg we're going to be doing the rest of the two exercises on the right leg before we switch to the left then we are going to be doing some standing hip abductions. We're going to be turning to the side using our left hand to grab onto the cable machine and we're going to be swinging our legs to the right. And the last thing you're going to be doing is some cable side steps. So you're going to be using that same foot. You're going to be stepping to the right and bringing your foot towards it to meet it. You're in a squat position in this move. You're going to be stepping one foot to the right and meeting it with the other foot and stepping the foot back and doing this a total of 10 times. Again, guys, repeating exactly what I told you guys. And after this, your muscles should be on fire. If your muscles are not on fire, that means you were not following my advice and you need to do this workout all over again. I'm just kidding. Don't do it all over again, but next time, do it the right way. So 
anyways, we're going to be repeating this on the left side. And after you guys are done, that is the end of our workout. At the end of my workout, what I like to do is if I use the treadmill to warm up, I like to cool down on the step machine. So I go ahead and I go on the step machine and I just walk very, very casually for about five minutes. And that is it guys we are done with this workout if you guys enjoyed this workout please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below tell me if your butt is hurting right now because if you did this right your butt should be hurting thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this quick workout and until next time I will see you guys in my next video go ahead and thumbs up the video subscribe down below leave me a comment and I will catch you guys later bye